So the last thing I found here is my temperature wasn't changing with the set point. Set point was enabled, but you can see space temperature set point local. These mean out of service. So we're gonna wanna go in here and put this back into service. Somebody, I don't know why they would have changed it. So in service, save. And that should go and take my actual local set point now. That was a big part of the reason why that space was warm or cold. The other space was doing okay, but we adjusted it slightly. So um, we'll see how it does from there. So, we had a pretty easy call, I think, hopefully. I'm plugged in now. I got two boxes, 206 and 232, that were running a little cold in the morning. They do okay mid-afternoon or so. Um, it's our SC here. Plugged in with a US, USB-A to USB-B. We're just going to plug right in there. I'm going to get logged in. And we're going to take a look, see if we can't figure out why boxes might be running a little cold. A few things we're going to check. Um, morning and daytime warm-up. It's a VAV system, so it will go into daytime or morning warm-up uh, in the morning. Uh, heat the space to a certain temperature. Then it'll go back to a straight VAV operation at 55 degree cooling. Unless there is, the other thing we're going to check, a supplier reset to see as the temperature goes down outside. Supply temperature goes up, so we might run 60 degrees or so if it's 20 degrees outside. Um, then the VAV box's heat takes over, unless there's a daytime warm up, in which case you pick a sensor. If that sensor drops below a certain temperature, you go into daytime warm up and the unit kicks on the gas heat on the roof. Again, all the dampers open, it heats the space until that sensor gets to a set temperature, and then it goes back to normal VAV operations. So, Let's get logged in and see what we can figure out. So we can see here about 5 a.m. they go into occupied. Uh, next control time, 10 p.m. they go into unoccupied except the one space goes in at 6. And yeah, that's a meeting space, so that shouldn't matter there. So we're going to scroll through and find our the right space first. And then we'll find our VAV boxes that are in question. So I'm in areas now. This is my second floor area. Um, I changed the unoccupied heating set point was 63, we went up to 66. Everything else looks fairly normal. Um, space temperature sensor 71. The outdoor temperature is off. It says 65 almost. Um, it's probably it's probably in the sun would be my guess. It's got a. Um, because it's probably 45, 50 outside. So we've been having cool mornings and warmer afternoons. So we're gonna scroll down, find the boxes that we want. So we said 206, where's, where's 206? Why don't I see 206? That's what it was labeled on the back of the stack, so that could be wrong. We might have to investigate that. Let's try 232. Let's hopefully, actually I checked the actual stat address on that. But I still don't see a 232. What the hell? One of them's probably gonna be open area because it was a cubicle area. That was 232. I still don't understand why I don't have a 206. So I'm going to have to go verify that that address is correct on the stat. So opened my tree over here and went to devices. Devices is going to pull up all my devices and it should give me addresses. Uh, let's see. This is wireless. So see my rotary address is there so I can try to locate them that way 
and see if maybe I've it's possible I've dropped one although the thermostat didn't have a, an error code or anything on it so I don't think I dropped a stat I think it's just labeled wrong so I located 206 so I got room 250 and then 232's here somewhere 232 so room 250 and open area southeast so I'm looking at this box it looks like it doesn't have a discharge air sensor or it's not reading it is in heat mode space temperature is 72 set point is 71 now I noticed he had this thermostat set on 74 75 so if we dig in and go to the application we can look at our airflow set points and our temperature set points because we could have I don't know why we would have set the max temperature to 71 but heating set went high limit 74 so we might increase that a couple degrees See, because there's your set point local. It's showing 77. So we're going to increase that and get him closer to where he's actually set at. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. It's hard to do this with one hand. I'm not sitting down either. I'm on one knee. So if you click on it, you can change it by overriding it. You can click the arrow and just override it. But if you go to configuration, you can actually change it for good. We set our cooling minimum down to 68. And then we'll give him, let's go maximum of 80. And then we'll go back and see. This should change now, the space temperature set point active. I'm gonna go up and see about uh, Make sure it was set there. And then we'll look at, we'll have to verify the discharge air that it doesn't have a sensor. We'll give this a few minutes and we'll have to go into the rooftop to check the warm up set points. So here's what I'm seeing here is this is in the center of the building. And you can see reheat type, none. There's no reheat. So this is a straight VAV box. Um, so we're gonna set our minimum uh, at least the heating set point to uh, zero. That way, if it calls for heat, it turns the damper off altogether. Uh, probably be some air leakage, but not, um, I mean, it's a big space, but even 200 CFM of moderate air is gonna keep it cooler than necessary, probably. The exterior on the other one, the other box is on the exterior, it's for offices, so it should have heat. We'll go in and look at that one in a second. So on this one we can see I do have modulating electric heat. So we don't want a zero set point because we need airflow for the electric heater. So I'm not going to adjust any of this. Looks like the minimum local heat is 175 CFM. Um, it serves just a few offices. So I'm, I'm not going to mess with the airflow on that one. And we'll see where we're at. We'll go into the rooftop and look. Uh, we made a few adjustments here that should help, and then we'll go into the rooftop and look to see where, where it's at. So the only other thing to make sure the customer understands, these are, they're, there's only a single set point on these thermostats. It's like the old thumb wheels, they're just digital. So you've got one set point. You're setting a cooling set point, and then your heating set point has a differential. So our differential is 1.5 here. So he's set at 74 degrees cooling, which makes his heating set point 72.5. Um, so, I mean, he's still in heating mode. Now, as that warms up a little more, it's going to kick in at one degree, one and a half degrees over his set point. It'll actually bring that cooling on and it'll damper will go to cooling position. 
but that's something that people commonly don't understand and they're setting a the temperature and it's there's just a wider range than they they are used to it's not like their thermostat at home so I wanted to explain that before I move over to the rooftop now let's go find a rooftop and see if there's a warm-up so here's my two rooftops and it looks like I am on a reset because my set point is 62 on one and 59 on the other would make sense because I'm guessing number two is upstairs it's running colder because it's reading a warmer temperature outside than it actually is it's probably in the Sun so we may have to adjust that outdoor temperature sensor and get it in a different location but click on here and see what we got This is Wi-Fi, so it's all really slow. Set point active. Space temperature. See it overshot, the cooling's actually off now. Economizer's disabled, I don't know why. Okay, so and then if we go into application is where all that information is. So it'll take a few minutes to get all that information. We'll go see if it's got a reset or any kind of warm up. So I'm looking here and it looks like somebody's adjusted our temperature. Um, it's set at 59. The, our typical cooling temperature would be 55. But it says cooling reset type status none so we might have to look over here in I think it's systems we'll get there in a minute I'm gonna scroll through and look at more of this see if I see anything else off so somebody didn't change it like we did, we went in and uh, went to configuration and changed it. This is what it looks like when it's overridden. You got that little green box. So it's been enabled as far as morning warm up goes. And the morning warm up set point is 71. Temperature set point active 71. So we could always bump that up a little bit. We're going to see if there's a reset first. Maybe you bump it up to 72 and see how it does. This is kind of a trying to make everybody comfortable. Uh, it's all one. It's all the same occupant in the space upstairs, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to adjust it by a degree or so. So that may be what we do, and then I'm going to look at the reset. Like I said, I. Uh, should be able to set a reset in this thing So I was right This is my discharge air cooling set point. You can see we're on RTU discharge air temperature reset Well, why it doesn't show in the application. I don't know But it is on a reset. So I've at least verified that I, These controls are screwed up sometimes Depending on which units you pull up all these things will be in different places and I don't know why it's the one thing I hate about this stuff because you can go through to the same type of device and it's like everything's moved and swapped around I think it's how they set it up and uh, trains never wrong you know so they do everything right until they don't and then you gotta go behind them and fix it I would like to see the economizers enabled but I'm not going to go changing too much because I don't want to cause another problem. I don't know why they were disabled. We're going to make a note of it and then uh, come back to it if we need to. Now my buttons aren't working. So we've made a few adjustments here. We put our morning warm up on 72. Daytime and morning is enabled on both of them. I'm pretty sure it takes an average of all the sensors in the space to decide whether it needs to go into daytime or morning warm-up. Um, so we're gonna leave it like that. Um, 
hell they'll probably call tomorrow and say they're too hot so uh this was just a couple like i said an office space and an open space that was a little bit cold they got to 70 degrees this morning at, you know six or seven o'clock when he got here which is isn't very cold but um you can tweak these little things without doing too much if you've got a working system you don't want to come in here and just start changing set points like crazy because you'll throw things off and you'll have people calling throughout the building with issues um, so we're going to leave it like that and let them uh, talk to the building owner and the tenant and let them know what's going on and what we've adjusted and tell them to just keep an eye on it see how it's doing the next couple mornings it's going to be cool again and we'll see uh, how it's doing after that and we can maybe make some recommendations or some slight adjustments if we need to from there so uh hope this helps somebody i'm sure nobody will watch it like they do the controls videos but um this might help somebody for some easy simple calls not that hard let me know what y'all think leave trade better than you found it see y'all next time